Hi friends, welcome to Green Botany. This channel helps you to achieve the goal in next NEET, NET, JRF and PSE exams. Stay on this channel so we can study the first question. What is the main function of filiform apparatus? present at the micropylar part of the ovule. It prevents options A. It prevents the entry of more than one pollen tube into the embryo sac. Option B. It brings about opening of the pollen tube. C. It helps in the entry of pollen tube into an antipodal cell. Option D. It helps the pollen tube to enter the ovule through telazole end. Option E. It gets the entry of pollen tube into a synergid and discharge the male gametes. Here it is. The answer is option E because the synergid have special cellular thickenings at the micropylar tip called filiform apparatus. It plays an important role in guiding the pollen tubes into the synergies and discharge the male gamete. The question number two. Which one of the following event take place after double fertilization? Option A. The pollen grain germinates on the stigma. Option B. The pollen tubes enter the embryo sac. C. Two male gametes are discharged into the embryo sac. Option D. The pan primary endosperm nucleus develops into endosperm. And option E. The male gamete fuses with egg to form a zygote. Here it is. The answer is double fertilization and event unique to flowering plants involves two types of fusion that is why zygomy and triple fusion during post fertilization events the central cells after triple fusion becomes the primary endosperm cells that is pec and develops into endosperm while the zygote develops into an embryo the third question, match the flower, column 1 with column 2, and choose the carrot option. Column 1, gamules, column 2, agave, column 1, leaf buds, bulbil, offset, conidia, and in correspond to the column 2, pencilium. Water hyacinth, sponges, bryophyllum. Here we can see the options. Option A A45132 B43215 C34421 and D41532 E. 35412. Here, the answer is option A. That means the common asexual reproductive structures in sponges are gamules and in pencilium are conidia. The vegetative propagules in agave, water hyacinth, and bryophyllum are bulbil, offset, and leaf buds, respectively. The fourth question, find out the wrongly matched pair, A tuber, potato, B rhizome, ginger, C bulbil, agave, D leaf buds, banana, and E offset, water, hyacinth. Here it is, the right answer is D. The banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant. Banana plants are normally tall and fairly sturdy and we 
are often mistaken for crazy, but their main or upright stem is actually a seeded stem that grows 6 to 7.6 meters tall. Growing from a cone, each pseudo stem can produce a single bunch of bananas. Fifth question The type of asexual reproduction found in Hydra is a multiple fission, B budding, C sporulation, D binary fission, E gamete formation. Answer is Option B In Hydra, the asexual reproduction mainly occurs through external budding in the middle and basal part of the body. The bud, initially seen as protuberance, which gradually grows as a diverticulum, soon it develops gastrovascular cavity, tentacles, hypostome, and mouth. The cavity of bud later on separates off from the parent body, thus forming a young hydra. Question number six, identify the wrong statements regarding post-fertilization development. A. The ovary wall develops into pericard. B. The outer integument of ovule develops into tegument. C. The fusion nucleus, triple nucleus, develops into endosperm. The ovule develops into seed, the D, and the E is the ovary develops into fruit. Here, answer is option B. The outer integument of ovule develops into testa. The inner integument of ovule develops into tegment. And the seventh question. The process in which haploid embryo is formed from Haploid egg without fertilization is called A. Apospory B. Agamospermy C. Apogamy D. Vegetative reproduction E. Adventive polyembryony Here the answer is Option B. Apospory Apospory is the formation of gametophyte di directly from sporophyte without meiotic Formation of spores. It produces diploid gametophyte. Apogamy is the formation of sporophyte directly from gametophyte without any formation of fusion of gametes. Haploid sporophytes are produced, which survives only when gametophyte is diploid. Adjunctive polyembryony is the formation of extra embryos through sporophytic body. And vegetative reproduction is the formation of new plants from detached vegetative parts or propagules of the parent. That is, no involvement of gametes or fertilization. Thanks for watching our channel.